If you're just joining us, you are on number four in our daily usage series, and we are gonna be talking about literally the king of all oils. Maybe you've heard that nickname before for frankincense, and maybe you haven't, but frankincense is truly the king of all oils. It does such a wide range of things, but specifically, I'm gonna show you five ways that you can start incorporating frankincense on a daily basis. One of my goals for you is that your oils are not sitting on the counter, just going unused. I wanna make sure we are giving you practical ways to apply them and to use them daily so that they become habits. And frankincense is one that needs to become a daily habit for you. It is called the king of oils for a reason. And it doesn't do any good if this king of oils is sitting somewhere in your home totally unused. So are you ready? I'm gonna give you five of my favorite ways to use frankincense that will rock your world. If you try this and use these, you're gonna fall in love with it the same way that I have. Frankincense was one of the first oils that, that Nathan fell in love with because as much as he loved lavender and he's like, oh, that works so well, he's like, man, I just really don't wanna go hang out with the dudes like smelling like lavender. Like what else do you have there? So as he's scrounging through, he smelled frankincense and he's like, oh my goodness, that's perfect. It's got this great woodsy smell. Um, so try frankincense with, if, if you're not into the floral smell, frankincense is amazing for this. So. The first thing that I want you to think about when you think of frankincense is restoring. That's the word that I want you to think. So when an issue arises in the day and or a big thing arises, a lot of times frankincense is, is one of those biggies. It can be used for a lot of those biggie things that were like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Frankincense, that's why it's called the king of oils, restoring, it restores. At the cellular and it, a cellular level restores health. So the first thing I want you to think about of how to incorporate frankincense into your day is cellular health. And there's a couple ways you can do this. I like to take it internally. You can put it into a mug of water, a glass of water, um, and just drink that daily. You can put a drop underneath your tongue and hold it there for 30 seconds and then take your water and just um, drink that down. If you don't love the taste of it, that's okay. We have got options for you. So doTERRA has these veggie caps and these veggie caps are these handy little things that look like capsules. They have a lid, they come apart and you can literally just take your frankincense and put a few drops in that's pretty good, good steady hand there. And just put the lid on and then you can swallow it. Another really easy way, if you don't love the taste of, of an oil, and I'm talking about, I'm giving you some suggestions on these videos to internalize it and you're like, oh gross, I totally can't stand that. That's okay, do it in a capsule because guess what? The whole goal is to make this a daily habit. And if you hate it, you're never gonna do it. You're not gonna do it on a daily basis. And to make it an even easier daily habit, if this is the way you want to internalize, I highly recommend grabbing one of these things. It's just a little holder. You can get it from oillife.com. It's just a little wooden pill holder is probably what it's called. You can line up seven of these empty sides, just like this, take the, take the lid off and then just put it on the counter and go down the line and put three to five drops of frankincense in each one, close it up, and then you've got seven made. You've got one for each day of the week. So that is a simple way. And here's the thing I want you to think about with cellular health. If our cells aren't healthy, our body's not healthy. And the number one cause of disease, there's thousands of names for all these different diseases, but the number one cause of disease is inflammation. And inflammation kills cells. That is the root cause of every disease, is inflammation and a cell that dies. If you get enough cells that die and that clump together, we all know probably what that creates and it's something that none of us want. And so a great way to prevent inflammation and disease in our body is to daily internalize frankincense. Now, if you don't wanna internalize it, another way that you can use it is just putting it on the bottom of your feet. Take your socks off, pretend this is the bottom of my foot here, just stick it right on there, a couple drops, and just rub it into the bottom of your foot. Morning before you go to work 
or evening before you go to bed. So that's cellular health. The second way to make frankincense a daily habit is skin imperfections. So I'm sure you've got a place on your skin that is not perfect, we all do. We have these areas that we wanna improve or just um, bring back a little bit of that youthful glow. You can apply it topically. Literally just take the frankincense, stick your finger like this. You can apply it to specific areas of your skin just like that or you can mix it with another product. So two products that I love that help with skin imperfections. Um, I love to take it to help reduce like fine lines and wrinkles. I love to take my frankincense and add it into doTERRA's hydrating cream. Now this cream did not come blue. You're probably wondering, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a bluish tint to this because I actually added in some blue tansy. That's another amazing oil for the skin. But I added frankincense and blue tansy, but if you look at the ingredients, frankincense is already in here. So doTERRA is wise to the ways of all these amazing oils that help our skin. Another one that I really love for skin imperfections is um, this tightening serum. And it naturally tightens, it smooths skin, it helps with those fine lines and wrinkles that we're talking about. And it's got frankincense as the number one oil in this. So this is also incredible. So what I do like to do is I squirt some in my hand and mix it in. And while it's still a little bit wet, I just take some extra frankincense and rub it into some of my more problem areas. If you find like you've got some deep lines or some other things like that. Number three is anti-aging. So cellular health, skin imperfections, and similar to two, but a little different is anti-aging. So a lot of us are probably concerned with like, I don't really wanna look my age quite yet. So what are some of the things that I can do? Well, we have, again, a couple products already pre-done for you that have frankincense in them. This is one of my favorites for around the eyes. It is the anti-aging eye cream. I just pull this off, squirt this, and just rub it with this gentle little roller ball right underneath your eye. And my most favorite, so if you have frankincense, use frankincense. Start using that for anti-aging. Add it to a face lotion or however you wanna do it or just direct. But another product that I love is called Immortel. Now this is a daily habit. It just sits right next to my, um, where I get ready for bed by my sink. It's in a roller ball. If you know what that is, it's just a little roller on the top. And I take Immortel and it is a mixture of frankincense and all of our more healing, skin healing oils. And I just rub it all over. I rub that in really well. And then I take my lotion and I topically put that on top as well. So you can graduate to a roller ball if you want it, or you can just use the, the straight frankincense as well. Both are good. Helps with stretch marks, wrinkles, spine lines, anti-aging, because it's promoting cellular health. It's promoting healing and health in our cells. Number four is sleep. Um, the, a great way to use this as a daily habit is to just put six to eight drops in your diffuser at night. And you can also rub it on the bottom of your feet. And I had a friend who really, really struggled with sleeping. She didn't struggle to fall asleep. She struggled to stay asleep. And, <clears throat> excuse me, she said for 20 years, it was almost 20 years, she had not slept through the night. She could fall asleep, but she'd always wake up. And I happened to be at her house. We'd done a really tough workout that day. We'd gone really hard. And she was telling me about this struggle. And I said, well, you've tried lavender. And it's not that lavender doesn't work. It's that everybody's body is so different. Maybe you need something else. Have you ever tried frankincense? And she said, no. And I said, well, frankincense promotes relaxation. It helps the body come back into balance and um, proper alignment and you go so hard and you're working out so hard, maybe that's more of the issue. So she put frankincense on the bottom of her feet that night and woke up in the morning and it was the first time in nearly 20 years that she had fallen asleep and stayed asleep and slept all night long. So try it, put it on the bottom of your feet, put it in your diffuser, rub it into the back of your neck, any of those places, again, remember, it will only become a daily habit when you find the spot or the place or the way that works for you. So if any of the, I'm listing off a few ways to use it because I want you to find the one that you're like, oh, that one worked for me. With this oil, I tend to like it here. With this oil, I tend to like it on my feet. When you find that, that's when it becomes a daily habit. 
And last, our fifth way to use frankincense, the king of all oils and to incorporate it into our day is for stress. So what I love to do, I'm sure you never get stressed out, but I do sometimes. And one of the things that I love to do is I just like to put it on my fingers, move my hair, and then put it at the base of my, um, base of my skull right where my hairline is, right where that little triangle area. I just rub that in and I bring it around and work it up underneath my ears. This is where your lymph nodes are, which are connected to your endocrine or hormones, your endocrine system or your hormones. So lots of things that could be a little haywire or out of whack if you've had a stressful day. And so frankincense just helps bring things back into balance, helps to relax you and um, helps to reduce anxiety. I wanna know which of these are your most favorite ways. I want you to start incorporating the king of all oils into your daily routine. Let me know, are you using it more for cellular health? Are you using it more for your skin? Um, pick one of these ways, because these are such different ways with this oil. These are totally different ways. Let me know which one of these five ways you're finding that frankincense is becoming a daily habit and let me know what you're experiencing. I would love to hear how frankincense is changing your world, just like it's changed ours.